So, bam, the first thing to do is to uh, select the bricks. And you want to find six pretty good looking bricks, maybe one that is going to crack in the middle that you could cut to make the half. Now, that one looks like one maybe we could cut. And then you want to select six that are about the same height. Now, see, that one is a little shorter because it's burned hotter, and you can see this hot corner on it. So we'll find some other short ones. We'll put this aside for the short pile. And let's see. There's two. There's three. Here's four. Five. Okay, so here we have five pretty equally high, uh, high bricks. Where's that piece of wire we just had? Okay, you want to put that around? And this is just to keep them from falling over right now. Okay, so now we know we're going to notch this halfway down to make a little uh, shelf, a little lip, to hold this center brick so the center brick doesn't fall. So we'll take this out, and we know we're going to cut it on this side, and also we can clean the edges up just a little bit. Now, if we take and we guess about where the middle is, which let's say it's, we're guessing it's here, and then we turn this around, and we're guessing it's here, same distance, in the middle of those two marks is where the middle is actually. So let's see. It's there. It's there. Okay, so that's the middle. And we're going to cut. I, you got to be careful not to flip the brick. So we're going to cut this notch about, about 10 millimeters deep. And then we'll cut this notch on this side. Now, eventually these bricks will all be pre-notched because we're making them mold that will make the notch in the brick. But these first bricks, we have to notch. And we're using this carbide blade that has special abrasive grit that cuts bricks on the side. To, um, and the brick is soft, so even a regular uh, metal blade would cut it, but slower than this blade. So we've cut these notches. This is the notch for this side, and that's the notch for that side. And then we're going to cut this brick in half, and we'll do the same thing. We'll measure like this, and then we'll measure like this, and then halfway between those two marks right there is the middle. That's a really hard brick because it, it burned at a very high temperature. So that's a good hard brick. Okay, now we can get the first wire to be a little tighter. And we'll tighten it with the pliers a little bit. Okay, now, if we take the blade and we just run it down the cracks a little bit, this is really not necessary, but it, it, it helps it a little bit. It helps it especially if the woman's going to carry the stove for a long distance uh, before assembling it. This helps the bricks stay together a little better. Get the goondies off. <laughs> And you see your angles are pretty good, so your mold, your mold was pretty successful because the, brink, the bricks shrank about right. It could be just a hair different, but it's definitely very good.
And see here, I'm getting, I'm getting the slight warpage in the brick uh, to, to be straightened out by the abrasive on the blade. And we'll do this just a little bit too. And we'll do this just a little bit. We'll do this just a little bit. See, when the bricks, when the bricks burn, when the bricks burn, they warp a little bit like this, they curl. Mm -hmm. And so when they're assembled, you want to cut this little high spot off with the blade so that so that, that brick comes together where it's where it's warped a little bit. And like I say, if you don't do this, it doesn't matter very much because it's a wonderful stove even if they're those cracks are in the side. Now I'm going to tighten the wire a little bit more. And We'll cut this off, and now, uh, he, here's something that's um, good to know. Let me have a piece of wire. Now, you really want the wire to go around twice, so um, go around, and remember it's long enough to go around twice, and it's good to go around twice. Uh, the wire is pretty cheap and it makes it good and strong if you get it to going around twice. And since I'm right-handed and I'm going to turn this to the right, I'm going to cross it from the top to the bottom, and I'm going to cross it. And then when I turn it, I'm naturally going to turn it to the right. So I'm going to turn it. I'm going to pull it, and I'm going to turn it, and I'm going to adjust it. And I'm going to turn it, and I'm going to keep turning it. This is good wire. It hasn't broken off yet. And once it gets pretty tight, it's pretty tight right now. Let's see if I can cut this with this. Is it tight enough? Well, I'm going to, I'll show you here in a sec what to do. So now, um, if you take the pliers and you hold the wire like this and you turn it, that tightens it. Okay, so take this and we'll turn it, and it's pulled it into the edges a little bit, and that's okay. And now you have a stove that you can pick up, and the proper woman can put it on her head and carry it to her house. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the way to assemble the bricks.